yet, but we have won. And I have not had the privilege of making a victory speech at Hempfest in the last 15 years that I've been up here, actually more than that, 20 years I've been up here, talking and speaking and singing and educating because it's so, so, so very important. And you have to never give up. And you have to be vigilant because they could take some of our freedom away. After you win your freedom, you have to protect and guard your freedom. And that's also another thing that I have stepped forward to is that I'm here to help veterans get the cannabis they need because they protected our freedom. They fought for the freedom that we upheld in court and we have to protect our veterans now and give them the cannabis they need for their health. No, man. Everybody needs cannabis for health at a certain point in their life. Hopefully just for, the, just for less lower blood pressure. But our veterans are so, so, so important. We're losing 22 a day to suicide. They give them pills. We give them cannabis. And that's also the point of fighting for the right to distribute marijuana to the people who need it the most, the sick and the needy and the dying. And it's been a wonderful thing to have recreational marijuana here in Washington. You all need to watch out for the patients here. There's a problem, and I'm sorry, as your godmother, I gotta tell you, listen to your godmother. I'm the godmother of all dispensaries, and I'm here to tell you, watch out for the patients. The sick and the weak in our society have been attacked by the legislation, and everybody in Washington needs to pay attention to this. There is a problem, because the patients have been hurt by politics, yet again. And I know it's so hard to win when we won here, and it's so hard to keep it free. And the patients have lost out recently. In my humble opinion, we might need to go to the people and do an initiative to preserve the collective series. That's just my opinion. Because I, of course, am a patient. Medical marijuana saved my life. I fought like hell because I knew that if I had rolled and closed my dispensary in 1998, when President Bill Clinton sued me for my license, there would be no dispensaries here today. Anyway. <laughs> so I fought and I fought. As every, as every mother would know, the dispensary was my baby. And you fight to the death for your baby. 18 years I fought for the right for us to have dispensaries. And we stopped the fence. We stopped them and we stopped them all over the nation just four days ago. <laughs> I couldn't even come to Hempfest. I had federal agents following me because I birthed a revolution yeah. in California. Thank you. <laughs> and every dispensary is my godchild, and you are all my godchildren. I'm very proud to be the godmother of all dispensaries. I'm very happy that I fought with everything I had to preserve the dispensaries and to stop the feds so that we can be free. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're going to rock this, this place out here and wrap up the show. I will be back next year because I can. I can freely associate. I can freely smoke. And my friends are here freely smoke with me. And that's the whole idea, isn't it? Hempfest. Thank you. I'm Lynette Shaw, and I love you.